doesn't matter. It's okay. It doesn't matter. But it does matter. In fact, everything around us is matter. Good day everyone! Today we are going to discuss about the characteristic of solid, liquid, and gas. But before that, I will introduce you first my group members who will help me to deliver the topic successfully and effectively. This is Mary Ann, Florence, Sunshine, Rumnik, Eddie, and also, I am Alexandra Nicol. So now, let's start our discussion. The characteristic of solid, liquid, and gas. Solid, liquid, and gas are all made of matter. But have you noticed that they look very different? Not only that, when you touch them, they feel different. Because solid, liquid, and gas are different states of matter, that also means they have different characteristics. What do I mean by this? If you look at a solid object, they look very different from liquid and gas. They have color, they have a certain size and shape. When you touch them, they have different texture, and also they have varying hardness. Take this as an example. Puto. We can observe whether the color is white, small, and is rounded. When you touch them, it is sticky, but it is soft. Another example is ruler. It is long, yellow, and rectangular. Liquids have colors, smells, and textures too, but they don't have their own shape. They always take the shape wherever they are placed in. For example, the slime. Everyone loves playing with slime, right? Slime can have different color like purple, pink, and maybe blue. They have smells. Sometimes they smell different from other slimes. They also have textures. They are sticky but they don't have their own shape. That's why when you put them in a square container, they just fill the square. But when you take them out, they are not a square, right? Water is also a good example. When you go to the beach, you see all the sea water stretch before you. But when you take some seawater, for example, and put it in your sand bucket, it just fills the buckets and follows the bucket shape. For example, if your bucket is shaped like a circle, the water also shapes like a circle. But when you twist the seawater in the sand, it's not a circle anymore. Gas, on the other hand, have no color or texture. There are times you see them that they don't have their own colors. You can take them don't take stars since you can hold them in your hand. Let's take a balloon, for example. When you pump the air, which is gas, into the balloon, it goes into this big circular shape. Not because that the shape of the air, but because the balloon is expanding. When you put water into the balloon, and since it doesn't have its own shape either, but it's the same the air fills the balloon. Same as when you put air into flat tire, you can see the tire being filled with the air, but the tire has still the same shape. Again, the different state of water, solid, liquid, and gas have their own characters. Solid objects have color, Stack. Can you identify what states of matter of these objects are in and what their characteristics are? Cookie, ketchup, and oxygen. Let's answer. Cookie is a solid object. Its color brown, small, circular, powdery, and crumbly. Ketchup is a liquid. It's red smell sweet and thick to the touch. Oxygen, the gas we breathe, has no color, no taste, 
texture or shape. Everything around us is